What's up guys, Aaron here with AV Astronomy. So I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time now. We're gonna be talking about PhD 2's latest beta version that includes multi-star guiding. They came out with this update initially earlier this year in January, but I didn't get around to fooling around with it until just about a month ago. Long story short, if you're using PhD 2 for auto guiding, which if you're doing astrophotography with auto guiding, I imagine you are, you need to download the latest development version, Dev4. This is the uh, site here. If you go to openphdguiding.org forward slash development dash snapshots, it'll take you to this page here and scroll down. You can download from Windows or Mac. Now, when you, re when you install this, it'll save whatever profiles you've set up in PHD2 initially. So if this is your first time using PHD2, I'm going to recommend you check out my other video. I'll put it down a link down in the description below that gives you a start to finish on how to set up PHD2, get everything calibrated and set up with the mount that you're using, the camera, guide camera, all that stuff. So that's ready to go. So we won't be covering that in this particular video. What we are going to be talking about is this multi-star guiding feature, which is a game changer, guys. This makes this changes everything when it comes to auto guiding. In situations where seeing conditions are bad or poor, just not gonna be, you know, normally that will yield you very poor guiding results. And right out the gate when I started using this newer version, I noticed right away how much improvement there was between single star guiding and multi star guiding. So let's take a closer look at how to set that up. So what we're going to do, when you load the program, it's business as usual. You'll go to Guide, Connect Equipment, and for the sake of this video, I'm just using the simulators. I'd have this set up on my gear outside, but the weather is horrendous and it's supposed to be for further notice. So I just got the camera set on simulator, same with the mount, just connect both with whatever you've already set up previously. And the only thing you gotta do, this will be probably one of the quickest videos I ever do, because the only difference you gotta do is when you go down here into the little brain icon, go to the guiding tab and click, this was unchecked, check the use multiple stars. And that's literally it. Um, you know, things like your calibration steps, focal length, all this stuff should already be put in PHD2 from the initial setup. And again, if you haven't done that, check out my other video and that'll run you through the initial setup. But that's it. That was the only thing I had to do. All my other profiles from previous calibrations were already loaded into the development version, which was nice. I thought I was going to have to redo all those. You don't. So that's a nice feature. And then you just go down here and you loop and hit star and you'll notice right away instead of it selecting just one guide star it's got multiple stars here it's selected what looks like let's see two four six eight nine stars right so essentially if i understand correctly what this does is instead of just tracking the movement of one star it monitors all nine stars and averages it out so it's not mate it's not you're not chasing scene conditions essentially as bad as you you would you know, with just using one single star. And now this thing runs through like an artificial calibration since I have it on simulator, but you'd run through your calibration, let it run its calibration steps, and then you're guiding. Now I can't speak for everyone, but for me personally, when scene conditions are poor or even bad, and when I'm using, it doesn't matter if I'm using my William Optics Refractor or my six inch Maxitov Newtonian, I'm not gonna be getting, but maybe 1.4 1.5 total rms it's it's not good it's bad it's, it's just you know it's chasing bad seeing it's it's you know the the mount is tracking chasing bad seeing conditions and it usually leads to soft images this setup with the multiple star guiding took that number and actually doubled its guiding performance and I mean, it went from averaging 1.3, 1.4 down to like 0.6 total RMS. There was less spikes overall in the in the uh, the guiding graph, and a much more consistent straight line. And on nights of good, uh, of 
average seeing, just even average seeing, I was getting down 0 0.45, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 total RMS. I've never gotten those numbers using a guide camera with a guide using a guide camera with a, a guide scope. I've only ever been able to achieve that kind of guiding results with an off-access guider. So I can't imagine with an off-access guider how incredible the results would be using multi-star with an off-access guider. It's, it's likely even better. So long story short, guys, if you're using PHD2, which I'm pretty sure most of you are, and you're not using the multi-star guiding version of PHD, download it today. Don't hesitate. Um, you'll thank me. You'll be glad you did because it's going to help you get better images, sharper images, and it's going to give you opportunities to image in nights when you would normally probably just say, ah, oh, to heck with it. It's poor seeing. It's bad seeing. I'm not going to get any good images anyway. So I'm not going to say it's a magic bullet cure for, for bad seeing, but when it comes to actually tracking, your performance there is greatly improved and therefore your overall image quality will be greatly improved. Well, guys, that's it. This was just going to be a little quick one today just to kind of give you guys a heads up on this development version if you haven't seen it already and to go ahead and start using it. Don't hesitate. It is a beta version. It's not an official release, so, you know, it could possibly be buggy or whatever with your system, but I haven't, I haven't had any issues with it. I've loaded it on my desktop and my laptop. No issues, no locking up or anything of that nature. So, anyway. All right, guys, that is it for this evening. If you are interested in any of the gear I use or that I recommend, I've got links in my description, as always, to Agena Astro and OPT Telescopes, two of my favorite telescope supplier companies um, astronomy, for astronomy gear. Get you started on the right foot. Also, if you have any questions or concerns or ideas for future videos, comments regarding astrophotography, leave it down in the description below, my Twitter, Instagram, I'd be more than glad to address it, and I'll do the best I can to help you guys out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on looking up, keep on seeking, and until next time, clear skies.